Are boosters uh, coming for the remaining vaccine? Moderna and Johnson and Johnson and FDA committee started reviewing that process today. But it was interesting that doctors brought this up today. They said that they wouldn't be necessary if more people got their first doses. WMAR 2 News Abby Isaacs reports on more of this today. Abby. Today, the FDA committee voted unanimously to recommend Moderna boosters for older or high risk people, but there's still much more to be done before they're authorized. And the booster conversations is important in order to prevent serious life threatening threatening breakthrough cases. According to the Maryland Department of Health, COVID-19 hospitalizations of vaccinated people tripled from July to August. Johns Hopkins lung doctor Panagi Scaliatsatos has been following the review of boosters closely. Working with immunocompromised people, he sees how they can be helpful, saying antibodies naturally decline over time and may make certain populations vulnerable. The, the population that we wanted to protect the most in the beginning, right, are elderly individuals, those who are in nursing homes, those got the vaccines first and now may be susceptible to that natural decline of the antibody. Thursday, a key FDA committee discussed Moderna's application for a half dose booster administered six months after the initial two. They voted unanimously to recommend the shots for those 65 and older immunocompromised people and people 18 and older who work in high risk settings. But there's still a ways to go before these boosters get final approval. ABC News estimates the earliest emergency use authorization would be next Friday after the CDC's committee meets. Even the conversation of boosters, we can actually put to rest. If we got enough people with, with an intelligent immune system, the pandemic then is all but over. Also um, Thursday, so the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg the School of Public here. Health uh, and the Pulitzer Center held a virtual event to address this, college. giving advice on how to reach vaccine hesitant young adults. Over the summer, California researchers found nearly 25% of people aged 15 to 25 are still hesitant to get vaccinated. We've seen essentially three primary reasons why. The first is distrust and lack of confidence. The second is misinformation and disinformation. And the third is polarization. Nick Moran, so who helps run the School of Public Health's social media accounts, says it's important to embrace these channels where misinformation when... and polarization is often seen to reach the younger audience. On the right is, is a post we put out when Drake released his new album about how you know, pregnant women should and can get the vaccine safely. Um, and that was shared by hundreds and thousands of people. And the reason for that is because it's, it's interesting, it's not overly branded, and it's not complicated. Tomorrow, the FDA committee will take a look at the Johnson & Johnson booster application, as well as potentially mixing and matching different types of vaccines and boosters. In Baltimore, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News.